How did North Korea manage to secretly order and steal 1,000 Volvos right from the automakers' lots in Sweden? This brazen heist triggered a worldwide manhunt and exposed major gaps in supply chain defenses. But could investigators crack the case before the criminal masterminds vanished without a trace? Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to uncover the incredible true story behind the massive Volvo theft. We'll explore how the criminals executed this bold robbery, the chaotic aftermath in Sweden and the far-reaching global hunt to nab the perpetrators. Get ready for a wild ride as we investigate the unbelievable details surrounding the biggest car robbery in the world. The plan comes together. It was the 1970s and North Korea had set their sights on beefing up their fleet with Volvo's rugged rides. At the time, Volvos were known worldwide for their hardy Swedish engineering and high quality. The new leader, Kim Jong-un's grandfather, wanted these iconic cars cruising the streets as a symbol of power and prestige. But sweeping away 1,000 brand new Volvos from the production lots in Sweden would take some wild card planning. The North Korean operatives knew they couldn't just drive off with the cars in broad daylight. They would need serious trickery to pull off the heist under Volvos and the authorities' noses. The scheme brought together shady characters from across the globe. To disguise the car's origins, they altered VIN numbers and forged paperwork, cloaking the Volvos in layers of deception. At border crossings, officials greased with bribes looked the other way as the vehicles slipped through undisclosed routes to secret loading docks. The cars practically vanished like ghosts once loaded onto transport freighters bound for Pyongyang. No heist this size works alone, from henchmen falsifying records to masterminds calling the shots behind the scenes. A sprawling criminal network executed the elaborate plan. Ship manifests listed farm equipment, while the smuggled autos stayed hidden below deck. For a time, King John Il's audacious plot to snatch 1,000 Volvos seemed flawless. Little did they know what was brewing back in Sweden once the massive theft was discovered. Volvo and the police scramble But when Volvo discovered over 1,000 new cars missing from their lots, Sweden was in turmoil. For the famous car maker, this was a massive black eye on their reputation. How could so many vehicles simply vanish without a trace? Both Volvo and the cops scrambled to plug the inexplicable security holes that allowed the brazen heist to happen right under their noses. Money-wise, the hit was brutal too. At around $40,000 a pop, the total price tag topped $40 million. For Volvo, it meant assembly lines stopped dead in their tracks and car deliveries delayed worldwide. The disappearance crippled production schedules. Across the globe, buyers lost faith in Volvo's supply chains as rumors swirled. Beyond sales, Sweden's image took a gut punch too. The auto industry panicked, fearing copycats would strike vulnerable spots if defenses weren't bolstered quickly. Car security was suddenly under the microscope. The great Volvo heist shook Sweden both socially and economically. But how did they do it? Volvo and authorities were desperate for answers. A global investigation Fuming over the outrageous robbery in their own backyard, Sweden launched a sweeping investigation to hunt the crooks and organize the tricky international legal case needed to prosecute them. Detectives used forensic tracing to follow the cars from Volvo's lots to secret staging points abroad. Digital tracking helped map the smugglers' movements and far-flung hideouts. Surveillance camera footage and wiretaps aimed to pinpoint key players in the criminal web. Sweden requested urgent cooperation from customs bureaus, police units and governments impacted by the scheme's intricate web. But extraditions, legal technicalities across borders and language barriers slowed the investigation's process. Cops found themselves tangled in reams of red tape. Still, the authorities persevered. Interpol bridged the gaps between far-flung smuggling groups from Scandinavia to Asia. Gradually, the links tying the exhaustive scheme together came into focus like puzzle pieces. But gathering evidence required painstaking efforts, while the criminals remained steps ahead. Bringing these crafty thieves to justice would demand patience, vigilance and following the smallest leads. 
The cops knew catching even one suspect could unravel the entire enterprise, so the global investigation pressed on. Preventing a repeat heist In the aftermath, Sweden moved swiftly to shore up vulnerabilities and oversights before another colossal heist could occur. New vehicle tracking systems using GPS and anti-theft tech aim to prevent another massive theft by monitoring cars in real time. Sweden also increased joint operations with customs bureaus and law enforcement overseas to exchange intelligence and dismantle these international theft rings for good. Other nations re-examined their own port security procedures and vehicle export regulations too. Coordinating intel became vital within governments and between allies. The call strengthened organizations like Interpol devoted to crushing organized crime through cross-border cooperation. Trainings aimed to help local authorities recognize smuggling techniques and paper trails. For Sweden, closing the security gaps was a top priority. The country vowed to never again allow such a monumental theft on home soil. Though the Volvo job delivered a wicked blow, it ultimately renewed commitments to squash transnational car theft through vigilance and unified actions. The criminals had exploited the blind spots and turf wars between agencies. Now those gaps were being sealed shut. Legacy of the Great Volvo Caper The disappearance of those 1,000 Volvos sent tremors through the auto industry worldwide, cracking the perception of airtight security. But the clever plot provided an urgent reminder to stay vigilant against criminals as methods evolve. Uncovering the masterminds behind Sweden's great heist shed light on the frightening sophistication of cross-border crime cartels and the critical need for expansive global police teamwork. Though the stolen cars have never been recovered, likely chopped for parts or secreted away in undisclosed locations, Sweden learned tough lessons about how sophisticated car theft mobs exploit gaps between jurisdictions. Today, the great Volvo heist is an infamous milestone taught in criminology and business courses about glaring security holes exploited by cunning criminals. The multi-year investigation demonstrated the escalating game of cat and mouse between world-class crime organizations and the international allies united to defeat them. And here's a fun fact about this unsolved case. While North Korea never paid for those 1,000 Volvos back in the 70s, Sweden still sends them a bill twice a year. The total, with interest, now exceeds $300 million. But Pyongyang continues cruising its streets in vintage Volvo models, remnants of the crazy great Volvo caper that are now collector's items. Over four decades later, the billion-dollar theft's legacy lives on. It compelled an overhaul of supply chain security from manufacturers to shipping to imported countries. Sweden transformed vulnerabilities into strengths, pioneering new protections adopted around the world, and it cemented the reality that modern auto theft knows no borders. Fighting it requires law enforcement without limits. Though the suspects were never captured, the great Volvo heist resulted in greater unity against crime across continents. And that wraps up the incredible true story of the great Volvo heist. From the cunning theft to the global investigation aftermath, this massive car caper shows just how far sophisticated crime networks will go. Before you go, hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay up to date on our latest true crime tales. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.